want to welcome everybody here today uh, for this occasion. Um, certainly, we're, we're glad to be here um, after raising money uh, for the mayor's uh, campaign on, on breast cancer, uh, along with Fats Cafe. Um, today, we have uh, firefighters. We have my, part of my command staff, uh, public ed education officer here, um, and we just we just delighted to be here today. Um, we have engine uh, 14 and 33. They took part in, the, in this uh, fundraiser. Uh, we were here for two days raising funds. The campaign actually went about four days, but we had firefighters here for two days actually uh, busting tables, um, serving food. Um, also, we had our pink helmet campaign collected tips uh, from folks coming in the, uh, I harassed a lot of people coming in, in, in uh, inside Cat. Uh, the cafe. So, uh, with that being said, you know we're going to be presenting a check today uh, to the mayor uh, for a little over thirteen hundred dollars. Um, but at this time, I'd like to introduce um, Miss Coker, who actually this was her her um, brainchild, working along with our public education officer uh, Benjamin Leverage. So, we just want to introduce her at this time. Thank you very much. My name is uh, T. Coker. I'm the general manager here at the Fats Cafe on Forest Drive. And uh, my dad was a firefighter for 35 years. And so um, firefighting is something that's very special to our family. So when we were looking to do fundraising opportunities, Fats was really huge on that. And they said, go out, connect with the community. So the best way for me to connect was to find someone that I knew. I happened to meet uh, Chief Jenkins on his birthday. He came to Fats, luckily for us, and uh, kind of kept his number, stayed in touch. And I uh, called him about the idea of doing a what we call a spirit night slash fundraising opportunity. His first answer was absolutely, and he gave me Benji's number. So, you know, anytime you get that kind of feedback from anybody, especially someone as busy as, as you folks are, that's a huge thing for us. So uh, Benji and I coordinated over a couple of plates of a lasagna, I believe, and uh, kind of worked out some details, <laughs> decided to do uh, two different campaign nights, or actually I guess it was four nights, but two different weekends. Um, we did one of them in August and one in September, and we got really good results. We were very happy with it. Um, you know, if we'd had maybe three or four more months to plan, it probably would have been a little bit bigger, but we both learned from it, and I'm really happy with the results. Um, our company pretty much gives back um, as much as we can, so we were very happy to do it and loved having the guys here. And um, really for us, it's been a great opportunity. They've come out and seen us a couple times for them, uh, some false alarms as well as just stopping by the station and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just very excited and happy to be a part of it and appreciate all the, uh, the opportunity to kind of participate in that and to give back as far as uh, raising money for cancer and the your campaign and your initiatives. That's great. I have the opportunity to get around the country, sometimes around the world, telling people about what makes this uh, city great. Uh, you, um, we're state capital. The victory starts here at Fort Jackson, where we train the majority of the soldiers for the Army. Um, talk about sometimes about Gamecock football, not a lot this year. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, about a historically black college. This is what, what makes this place special. But I, I tell people what really makes uh, Columbia special is when you leave state capital, when you get off post, when you uh, leave uh, campus or so Williams Bryce, and it's the people that make Columbia very special. That you, in this city, you still find um, you still find men who open doors for ladies. You still find people who pull over for funerals. You tell you can still find sweet tea in restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, and and you find folks who um, who know the two most powerful words in the English language, and those are just thank you, thank you, thank you. You find uh, folks who are incredibly gracious and understand that if in fact we are going to be a great city it happens when people come together when incredible and amazing uh, public servants like these like these uh, gentlemen behind me who who literally put their lives on the line every single day uh, don't think it robbery uh, to uh, rally behind their chief and the leadership to do something good uh, for this uh, community and you find business leaders who are um, who are willing to sacrifice profit uh, and ask their customers to chip in a, a little bit more uh, to take care of, 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 of our, um, some men suffer from breast cancer as well, but primarily women, uh, the incredible women who service the backbone of our families every single day. Um, breast cancer has affected, I'm sure, every family um, uh, represented in, in this room. And the dedication of, of the, the people at the City of Columbia, the people at our staff working closely with with, with Prisma Health and working with Bosom Buddies over these last several decades, um, long before I was mayor, to make sure that we have the resources uh, to not only help in the fight against breast cancer, but also to make sure uh, that as, as so many of our incredibly strong 
uh, survivors keep fighting that they have the resources to deal with some of their post mastectomy needs uh, through bosom buddies. It is the, the I believe the truest way uh, that we can articulate that we are a community that we're one community uh, and, and show that kind of love uh, that makes a place special. So I'm honored to be here on behalf of the, of the people of Columbia. I've had the honor of representing for the last nine years. I'm thankful uh, to uh, um, Chief Jenkins, um, my, my dear friend, and this incredible leadership team at the Columbia um, Richland Fire Department. And, and T, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, FATS has been an institution uh, here in, in Columbia for, for many years. And again, uh, everyone doesn't do this. Everyone doesn't do this, so I think it's uh, it's it's so important uh, to say thank you uh, to you and your team here, and um, we look forward to con continue to support you all, uh, making sure that you all do the uh, great things that we know you have in store for you. Um, but it was important to, to just be here to say thanks. God bless you, and, and and let's continue to pray over these incredible uh, women and men who are still fighting the fight against breast cancer, and and, and continually praying for the families of those who've gone on to glory. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again and remember, we are Columbia.